isn't it? Ah, very good restaurant. Three stars, you know. Really? Good evening, sir. Good evening, madame. And may I say it was a pleasure just to see you here again, sir. Ah, thank you. Well, there you are, dear. Have a look there. Order anything you like. The Buffon crew is fantastic. Ah, oh, sir, if I might recommend the Faisant à Laurent. The sauce is one of the chef's most famous creations. Hmm, mm. sounds good. Uh, have a look there. Take your time. Right. Anything you want. Oh, by the way, I have a bit of a dirty fork. I beg your pardon? I have a... I, well, it's, it's nothing. I, I have a fork. It's a bit dirty. Could you get me another one? Thank you. Oh, I do apologize. Well, there's no need to apologize. Oh, it no, doesn't no, no, worry no. me. I do apologize. Oh, fetch the head waiter at once. Oh, there's no need to do that. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sure the head waiter, he will want to apologize to you in passant. Someone gets a wonderful service here. They didn't look after you, yes. Excuse me, sir, madame. Gaston, it's filthy. Find out who washed this up and give the cards immediately. Oh, no, no, no. No, no better still. Stop the whole entire washing up set. I don't want to take any chances. Look, look, I don't want to make any trouble. No, it's no trouble. It's quite right that you should point these things out to us. Gaston, tell the manager what has happened immediately. Oh, but look, uh, wait, please. I don't want to cause any fuss. No, it is no fuss. We simply want to make sure that nothing interferes with your complete enjoyment of the meal. I'm sure it won't. It's only a dirty fork. Yes, I know. I am sorry. Bitterly sorry. But I also know there is nothing I can say to alter the fact that in our restaurant you were giving a filthy, dirty, smelly piece of cutlery. It wasn't smelly. Yes, it's smelly, obscene, and disgusting. And I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Grubby, disgusting, Thank obscene, you, smelly. Thank you, sir. I'm the manager. I've only just heard. May I sit down? Oh, yes, of course. I'd like to apologize deeply, humbly, and sincerely about the fork. Oh, but it's only the tiniest bit of dirt. You, you just couldn't see it. Oh, you're kind, good people for saying that. But I can see it. To me, it's like a mountain. A vast bowl of pot. There's no reason to say that. There are no excuses for such a thing. I've been meaning to spend more time in the restaurant lately, but I haven't been at all well. And the washing room staff and the people back there aren't doing very well either. The cook, the cook's son has been put away again, and Mrs. Gilberto, who's the wash-up woman, her poor old fingers can hardly wash the dishes anymore. And then there's Gilberto's war wound. Together, we thought we could get through this dark patch. There was light at the tunnel. But then this happened. This! Oh. Oh. Could I get you some water? It's the end of the road! Oh. You bastards! You vicious, heartless bastards! <laughs> Look what you've done to him! He's worked his fingers to the bone to make this place what it is. And you come in here with your petty, feeble quibbling and grind him into the dirt. Oh, it makes me mad. Mad. Easy, Margo, easy, easy. Oh, the war wound, the wound, the wound. Oh, the end. Oh, the end. Oh, it destroyed him. No, Margo, no. Never kill a customer. The wound, the wound, the wound. The end. Lucky we didn't say anything about the dirty knife. <laughs> <laughs>